Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and in today's video I'm going to be continuing the Aristocats limited time event in Disney Magic Kingdom's game. Hopefully everybody enjoys the video today. If you guys do, make sure you give it a big Mickey thumbs up, and of course subscribe if you guys are new to show love and support to the channel. So, we have some entertainment at the Battlegrounds. I really was excited to see this um i love the animation it is so so cute it is like amazing uh the only person i didn't manage to get there was uh berlioz because i had didn't welcome him and have him to a proper level in time to do this but i will tell you it was not necessary to have him i actually did better without him this event which is literally ridiculous because um they haven't done anything different with the events. They haven't made any adjustments, nothing. And I have had way, way better luck. So I'll talk a little bit more about that later on in the video. So last time we ended off in my last DMK video, we uh, cont we were continuing this the storyline here. And we got uh, to the quest where it was find guests and performers for two hours. So that's like literally where I left off with the dialogue. So if you guys want to catch any of the previous dialogue leading up to this for the event, it will be in my previous video. And then it kind of just keeps going, right? Each video that I've done I've that said the Aristocats, it's had dialogue. So it depends on how far back you want to go. Um, I also decided to level up some of my like regular permanent content and other limited time event characters as well. So there's like, I've got some soul. I think I've got like um, a Bambi character as well going a little later. So I'll be bringing in uh, some additional characters. Why? Because I've been trying to increase my gems at this point to get to 500 uh, so that I could welcome Berlioz. So um, after that two hour quest, we get this dialogue here with Toulouse and Duchess. Wow. Indeed, Toulouse, darling. I am as surprised as you are. Who would have thought we would find not a cat who paints, but a baboon who paints pictures of cats? Quest complete for the art of it all. Yes, perhaps when we return to the party, the two of you can paint each other's portraits. Oh, here is Frou-Frou with Marie. Your sister will help you, Toulouse. I must return to the party. Now, be charming, ladies and gentlemen. And remember, you are representing Madame's foundation. So no arguments. Au revoir. <laughs> He's like, yeah, sure. She's like, yeah, double sure. I bet I can get more animals to come to the come to the party than you can aw nuts i was gonna say that first i betcha this is an event quest so send to lose and marie around o'malley's pad well we're not gonna get to see any animation here which is unfortunate but they will go inside for an unknown amount of time because guess what to lose needs to be a five so this is kind of a regular thing with these events, guys, uh, that, you know, you have to make sure that you level up your characters far enough or you cannot continue. And it is a balancing act between drop rates and leveling up characters. It does take some time to get used to, especially if you're a new player. This is going to be something that you're going to be kind of constantly battling against. Um, so I did need to get to lose to a five. He was ready to go. It was really just a matter of having enough baskets. Uh, to go around. So at this point, we need a few too many, I felt, um, baskets that we are tapping uh, from the tappers for the goose for the event. Like, it's just, it's it's too much. It's too much. There's no other way to get them. Like, I feel like the turning red characters, if they had a 60-minute quest trying to go and collect them, it would be fine and I think totally fair, you know? But I think it, uh, it's kind of like, uh, they, they do this to make sure you're checking your game enough or something like that, which... Even the amount of times that I do, I find sometimes that I still have problem get, like getting enough. It'll be close, right? Like, I'll be like short five or ten or something like that. So it's like one or two rounds, like, you know, here and there. But it's just like to wait on those, those are not the tokens that you want to be waiting for. Trust me. It's going to be like the ears hats or something like that or currency or something slowing you down, not uh, the common token. So I, I do think that, you know, all in all, like, you know, drop rates are an issue, but also 
um, you know, getting a hold of these baskets. I did hear a couple of sort of comments and stuff like that, um, you know, about those types of things happening, like not getting proper drop rates. Again, I suffer from this all the time, but this event was a little better than usual. Again, I'm like, okay, why is this happening when I don't have Berlioz? Like, that's just ridiculous. You spend the money on the characters, so you don't have to have those kinds of problems, right? But it still happens. It is what it is, but I really hope they do adjust that those kind of things very soon. Like, in the next update would be fantastic. Toulouse is now level five. Oh boy! You're so cute. <laughs> and then now he gets to go out um, on the quest for I betcha for two hours. So it's not a very long quest, which is good. Um, so basically him and Maria are gone to find more animals. And then you get this dialogue. <laughs> I really won this time, Marie. I got 50 whole animals to come to the party. And all of them were dogs. So it was extra hard. <laughs> this couldn't have anything to do with like 101 Dalmatians, could it? That's going to be my guess. It's more like Dalmatians, not just straight up dogs. Oh, I'm sure it was. But not as hard as the 52 dogs who said yes to me. <laughs> that is definitely 101 Dalmatians. Ah, that is so funny. Well, 51 regular dogs and one odd laughing dog with googly eyes and his tongue is sticking out, but he still win. I feel like this is talking about Ed, which is a hyena, <laughs> right? I mean, who else has like googly eyes and whose tongue sticks out? There is no one. There is no one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. You can just imagine Ed, right? Just sitting there going like, <laughs> the whole entire time. <laughs> oh man, class complete, I betcha. Oh, no fear. Count them again. And you know, if it was 52 again, he would just recount his own. You know it. Oh my, well congratulations on winning your, uh, not an argument with Toulouse, darling. But if I understand correctly, most of the dogs you've found wish to spectate, not perform. Is that right? Right. Oh, I guess we need more animals to perform on stage so they can accompany me as I sing my solo. Then, if they really want to, they can do other stuff after that make more music send marie and duchess around o'malley's pet so now they're looking for performance not for sorry performers not uh, just an audience so they go for two hours um i this is kind of like tough because i really didn't want to send ming li at this point for this quest but i did anyway so head towards an epic party for eight hours but i really want to finish off that dialogue there so uh, i could kind of keep things rolling with that secondary storyline just to kind of get it done and this is guys you have to remember this is like literally before thomas o'malley was unlocked so all this i probably should have said that earlier maybe but i think it was kind of an assumption here so uh before he's unlocked so like getting that out of the way was like kind of important um now i did Here's another character that I decided to level up, and I did, and uh, I, I'm working on gems, but uh, honestly, I think what saved me, though, was the, the season pass, the 100 in there. There's still not enough gems in there like there was the first two season passes, so it's kind of sucky. I don't know, I was trying to think of an S word that wasn't the one that first popped up in my head. Yeah. Um, but yeah, not, not the best, not the best. Um, especially now I think they realized that it was a lot of gems and people didn't need to buy their bundles anymore. So, uh, yeah, just, <laughs> it's one of those things, right? You're like, damn it. They caught on that. We didn't need to purchase things anymore with real money. Yeah. That's just how it is. I'm glad we found someone who can be a conductor for all the other musicians. But it's too bad his orchestra has to stay underwater. Oh, Sebastian. 
Get out of here. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. I love that they incorporated that. That's true, Marie, but he can help Berlioz keep time. We'll just have to keep a nice cool bowl of water nearby for him. Quest complete. Make more music. He can use my favorite cream bowl if he wants to. <laughs> so cute. All right. All you hep cats and hep kittens, the party's jumping. The main stage is swinging. And best of all, those donation numbers are out of sight. That means a lot of cats can find themselves a warm and cozy home. So let's all give those charitable humans a finale to remember. A one, a two, a three, four. Bring it home. Send everyone to perform in the finale. So this is where, uh, yeah. I, again, just didn't have enough gems to show you guys the animations for Berlioz. I'm sorry. I will hopefully have enough next time to have him in a little bit sooner. And this is one grumpy lady. Curses, just when I was about to crush those lame four townies forever, they jump into their dope tour van and make me chase them all the way across town, hurling sick burns the whole way. Only now do I realize they were luring me to the one house in Toronto with a sound system banging enough to defeat me. Oh my gosh. Wow, Tyler, is it weird to say you're surprisingly good at writing May's mom? See, this is where we need him because they incorporated him so much in this quest. This is so strange. Yeah, <laughs> I believe you mean writing Ling Mi. Queen among monsters. Quest complete. Tyler's turn. And don't you forget. Abby, back to you. Bring us home, dude. On it, as Ling Mi growled in frustration, Tyler tossed the priceless four town CD to Abby, who used her awesome martial arts skills to do a bunch of kick flips and cartwheels and stuff over to the stereo. Aw, oh, fanfic Abby can do cartwheels? Jealous. Don't worry, she can teach fanfic May when we do the next chapter. I love a good training arc. Press play. Send Abby and Ling Mi to face off at Tyler's. This quest is nine hours. Such a weird length. But it is nine hours uh, to do. Now I'll have to jump back here to the kitties and uh, finish off with the battlegrounds. Oh, Thomas, we did it. Just look at that smile on Madame's face. The gala has been a wonderful success. Sure has, and it's all thanks to you and the kittens. Boy, I don't know how you found that last performer on short notice. But I guess nothing gets humans to reach for their wallets faster than an airborne elephant. Wow, they brought Dumbo in now? Well, they were really inclusive. Quest complete, bring it home. Yes, and Madame's back garden was a perfect setting. After all, her ceilings are not that high. And this was the final photo of the little cute family all together. Poof. Oh, I must pay the little elephant's manager their peanuts and cheese before they leave for their next engagement. <laughs> wow, there is even payment in this. Thomas, would you like to come along? And why, Thomas, are you quite all right? Whew. I will be, sweetheart, just... I might need a minute. My body just realized it's been dancing for a few hours straight. And boy, does it have opinions. Welcome an alley, cats. Okay, so we get to welcome Thomas. And I managed to get all that dialogue done with two hours and ten minutes to spare. Not much time, but I made it. So it, it's great. And then we start collecting for Thomas O'Malley himself. Um, after this set a, a dialogue, we'll have a little bit more still to go, but, um, I will go over what you'll need and how my progress is for him. As the sweet, sweet sound of you and me blasted from Tyler's parents surround sound system. 
Ling Mi's howls of anger turned to howls of having an epiphany deep within her soul. Could it be that this bippity boppity tea music was really the best thing ever? Quest complete. Press play. Spoiler alert. Yes. Oh my gosh. She is always so full of energy. I love it. For townies, you have taught me an important lesson this day. I may always love sappy power, palaz, and drum machine solos and whatever, for they are the sound of my youth. But I need not be enraged that the youth of today has its own sound, because that sound is tubular to the extreme. Yeah, she would never say that. Woo! Woo! Is right! Oh my gosh, I feel like this is literally perfect for Aunt Cass. Like, I wish she was in here right now because they totally would have made reference. Because she has, like, a scene in Big Hero 6 where she's like, wee, wings. Like, when she's talking about wings. If you guys haven't seen that section of Big Hero 6, you're going to have to watch it now. Otherwise, it literally makes no sense. But Baymax had low battery, essentially, and was like, wee, and it was great. Anyway, hopefully. Hopefully, you guys have seen that section. Um, anyways, who is right? Come, let us have a sweet multi-generational dance party together monster style dance party okay so miriam and priya together and then abby and may and they just party super hard for 10 hours straight and i'm sure lose half their weight in body sweat right so now they're gonna be a uh, little skinny toothpicks essentially 10 hours of hardcore dancing right uh so <laughs> yeah literally so berlioz came up Again, reminded me, hey, it is time to buy me at this point in time. So, there are a couple of ways you can go ahead and do this. There are three ways. To purchase them for gems, purchase them for a cheap bundle that gets them to a two, or do the most expensive that gets you um, Marie's hat stand and gets Berlioz to a three. I chose the cheap option of 500 gems. I do miss out on Marie's hat stand, but I'm telling you, you will get it later, so... It's just something I just got to wait for. It's kind of crappy, but literally most of my stuff has to sit in storage anyways these days because there's just not enough room. And even if they release all the land left in the entire kingdom, there's not going to be enough space. So I do want this in my kingdom, but if I have to wait, I have to wait. I'm not going to stress about it um, at this point. So Maurice was another character that needed to be leveled up. Now that is good because I only have one more to go and then I can send my Beauty and the Beast characters home and focus on leveling up some other collections. I don't love that I have to send all my favorite characters home all the time. It drives me nuts, but uh, there's literally no other way you can do it. So they control who you have in and there's like, I, I don't know. It's, it's not as fun. I really miss the fun of just having whoever you wanted out to collect magic even, right? Or do quests that you wanted to see. Now you don't have that option. You're If you're lucky, you can have 10 characters in there. And I mean, hey, if there's anybody out there that's like literally has no issues with this, I would love to hear because I haven't found anybody who has been satisfied with the 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 hundred character limit and actually been able to like enjoy sending characters out like as many as they want. Like everybody's restricted on who they can have out, what quests they do. Like I'm like it's it's October. I, I want Nightmare Before Christmas out. I want them doing cool quests. Like, you know, again, Big Hero 6, like, I want out. Like, there's there's a bunch of different collections. I'm like, you know, Hocus Pocus. Like, I just, I want these characters out. Coco. And I, I literally, I, I can't have all those collections out. It's just literally not possible. So I, I just feel like at, at this stage in the kingdom's life, it's really unfortunate. Because I've been around a long time. A lot of my characters are maxed out. And I just... Uh, I, I play for the animations, the welcome screens, the animations with quests. And, you know, again, I'm running out of both of those at this point because of the limit. And then there's no see it again button, which, uh, you know, they said they were working on. And I haven't heard anything now for a couple of years. So I don't know if they're actually going to incorporate that system in. Dreamlight Valley seems to be doing some of it. Uh, so hopefully that will become a thing for all the characters we'll be able to see. But... Uh, it does look like DMK may not get that feature in its lifetime. We'll have to wait and see, but, uh, you know, 
I'm, I'm still hopeful, but at the same time, I'm being a little more realistic and going, I just, uh, I don't know if they're going to give us more land ever, and I don't know if they're going to give us cool features like that anymore. They might just fix, like, again, drop rates and things like that, right? Like, you know, give us new events and leaderboards and season passes, but I don't know how much of, like, you know, expanding on, on their system that they're going to be doing now. Like, they made their big change with the... Uh, the relics and, and blueprints and stuff. But I like, I mean, again, I feel like it would be a big thing to add more land and probably a big thing to allow us to see welcome screens again. I don't think it should be, but I'm not dumb to the fact that, you know, with storage issues and stuff, that this could be something we won't see. Um, I think I would be really sad about that, but I know I have kept a lot of my final welcome screens and stuff. And I'm trying to make them into shorts, by the way, guys, so that you guys see as many as you possibly can um, in there. So, like, you know, I am trying to work on that. But, you know, again, for everybody to just, you know, be able to see them in their own kingdom, it, it, it's just not possible uh, to have endless supply of them. So it's a little sad. It's a little sad. You got you to gotta work in it for it. You got to search for them now, basically, if you, you want to be able to see them. You got to go online. All right, let's finish up this dialogue here with um, turning red, and then I'll be able to go into my kingdom. And so the queen among monsters and the four townies danced the night away in a spirit of mutual respect and awesomeness. Yo, way to close this out, May. I can't wait for the next chapter. Aw, me neither. Just brainstorming, but... What do we think about the four townies and the case of the alt rock swamp creature? Oh my god, what face is May making right now? <laughs> That's the sound effect to it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I literally just unintentional awesomeness, as she would say, right? Yes, <laughs> Priya is loving it. Quest complete, dance party. Ha! As far as I'm concerned, it's already canon. Okay, so finally getting to the point of welcoming Berlioz. For 500 gems, I went that route, as I mentioned. Um, I'm pretty happy with my decision. If you guys bought Berlioz, what bundle did you buy him with? I, again, I wish I had the concession. I wish they sold it for 75 gems like they used to in the past, but uh, there he is. You really got to look for him. He's so cute, though. <gasps> Yay. And he is in the kingdom. He's so tiny. He's so hard to see. So he's got a side quest that I did the dialogue leading up to this, uh, I think, like two or three videos ago. Um, basically, this is kind of like, you know, where it kind of gets left off there. So there he's doing his quest. So cute. So, so cute. Um, and then we get this dialogue here. When I went to practice this morning, I thought of something and got real nervous. I was going to play a new song by Mr. W.C. Handy. Uh, that's his name. Handy. How am I supposed to play like he does? I don't have hands. I have paws. I love his face, like winking, you know, but it looks like kind of angry almost. I don't know. Like, what do we, what do we call that? Like, like an angry wink? <laughs> or is he like skeptical of something, I guess? Yeah, I guess he kind of would be, right? Like, how is he supposed to do this? Maybe that's what he's, he's, do he's doing to us. Quest complete. Opening night jitters. But then I thought, I've got four paws to play piano with so i should be okay hey he's so cute and uh to get him to a two it wasn't like right away it definitely took me um say almost a day because a thomas had to come first at this point in time but i did get him to a two so here he is I really needed him to like a 3-4, but uh, that would have definitely taken more common tokens anyways. Yeah. Not great. And I got a little clip here of Toulouse being adorable right outside of Madame's house. And uh, yeah, I think this animation is absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait till Dreamlight Valley welcomes uh, Aristocats in. 
because to have these little kittens doing like random stuff like this just on their own like catching them doing stuff it'll be just the best like they don't have quests necessarily for this to like for us to see but at the same time it's like you know they'll have little animation stuff for sure for sure for sure uh fallon is an eight and um berlioz i managed to get enough to get him to a three so we can go back into my kingdom now and uh well see his welcome screen again and bring back some of the other characters Woohoo! We made it in. Okay, so still working, collecting the goose. I have got enough tokens. Um, well, one of his tokens. I do, I'm not done with uh, the final one for the ears hats here. So I need one more. I got so lucky. Okay, so so lucky this morning. I got five at like four in the morning. Okay. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm too tired for this. And I got five ears hats. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding. Like, that's literally ridiculous, right? Um, it's It saved me, I think, at this point. I need one more. I've got, like, two days to go. And I am so happy. I haven't got a drop yet since four in the morning. And I've had, uh, you know, the chance to, to collect more than once since then. But still, uh, it, it was quite a successful morning of drops but don't rely on that being a, a real thing that was just like the luckiest shenanigans ever you know it's almost one of those things now I'm like maybe four in the morning is the sweet spot to check my kingdom now <laughs> I don't know but you better believe I will be trying this trick again to see if this is like a thing like they just they feel sorry for me at four in the morning they don't feel sorry at two though I know that because typically I check at like two in the morning uh but four was great <laughs> just a coincidence probably but i'm i'm just sharing what happened so if you guys want to try four in the morning and see what happens for you could be something quite magical so here is berlioz back into the kingdom coming back at a three so cute i can't get over how cute these kitties are hooray and don't forget guys you can buy radiant chests um they can be found do, do, do. Okay, right. In chests under the legendary icon there. It does show radiant chests. You can buy them for real money or you can buy um, them for gems. So it kind of just depends on what you have. And it will give you tokens. It doesn't guarantee anything, but it is it is still good. I think the six chests should definitely offer, like if you're going to spend real money on this, I feel like it should be the same sort of thing as the legendary chest and offer... Um, at least like a guaranteed you see how it says like one guaranteed epic or better it doesn't say that under radiant chess and I think it should like if you're gonna buy a bundle with real money you should be guaranteed one epic or better um, maybe it it does just on its own but like I haven't spent real money on on tokens for characters and like forever uh the closest thing was like gems for indiana jones last time but it was just so many it was like ridiculous right i should have probably just bought him but i was just like i don't want to spend my real money on this you know like it was it was a, a massive sacrifice this event indiana jones is it's definitely indiana jones's fault the drops are just horrible uh this one i have done so much better and i haven't had a good event in a while um but i am blaming it on my four in the morning drop rate shenanigans so yeah, I'm at max characters in my kingdom. I don't like that. It really isn't something I'm very happy with. To be honest, I like to have a couple empty slots. That way, if I have a happiness quest or anything, it can be done. Uh, Maurice is back in the kingdom at a level 9. So only have one more time I'll be able to see it. Aww. I'm going to have to switch his, uh, his uh, costume up for sure. Oh, well, thank you. And now I've got Kevin from Up. <laughs> oh, he's hilarious. And he's a 10. Kaka! She should say she is a 10. Kevin is a she. It's one of those, like, really confusing things, like 22. Okay? Who I'm lit with well, this random coincidence this is happening but uh yeah same same kind of idea where you're like uh i think they're a boy but then they're a girl it's it's really messed up anyways 22 <laughs> is now a seven check me out 
it. I'm jazzing. 22 is adorable, though. Aww. There is... Oh, I can't, I can't get him. There he is. Berlioz. Hey, we're getting a real close-up of 22 there. Oh, my God. There are little X's on the Sudoku. That's hilarious. I didn't know there was that much detail. You can barely see it. It's, if I was in the shot right now, I would be totally blocking it. So it's probably a good thing I'm not showing myself today. You know? Really. So what should I do? I guess I'll sit for four hours. That's fine. And he teleported. Oh, I thought we were going to get to see him run. So cute. And here is Disgust. <laughs> Ew. Back in the kingdom. And Disgust is now a level five. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, I love her. She's great. Uh, let's do six hours. Oh, I was hoping to get an ultra zoom. And Indiana Jones. Dun, 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 and he is now four. If you want to be a good archaeologist, get out of the library. <laughs> uh, words to live by, I suppose. This is really cool that there's a snake for this animation here. Like, seriously, I still wish that we were able to get even closer. Like, Ultra Zoom should just be a natural thing in the kingdom. It shouldn't be something that, like, glitches to happen. It should just be something that uh, we can choose. It would be great. And from the Bambi collection, we have Fallon. Do, 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 do. So cute. Another cute character. I love it. And Fallon's nine. This is fun. Look at how happy. Like, that. that is pure happiness. Oh, my God. Look at this child coming. <gasps> Evil queen style. I love it. I love it. Oh, my gosh. That is, like, a once-in-a-lifetime view right there. I'm not even joking. Oh, my God. I love this child. Poison apple and crown. It really doesn't get much better than that. Don't leave. Don't leave. You must stay. Oh, my God. Where did she, where did she go? No. She glitched. She glitched. You, you all saw that. She glitched. Oh. oh, and there's a dwarf. That's hilarious. Oh, no. But where? Where could she have glitched to? Like, just out of my park? I didn't know kids had magic in here. I know this is a magical place and all, but... Wow. That is wild. Hmm. Okay. Now I have seen it all. Officially. I keep seeing new things in this game. Like, over the years, I've seen a lot of crazy stuff. But that that is right up there with uh, some of the most magical shenanigans. And let's bring back the final character here. The Emperor from the Mulan Collection. And he is saying, please subscribe. <laughs> I did a short on that. Like, if you could make him say anything, what would you make him say? And he throws his arms out, not like, during one of his quests. Um, and I was like, what was the one thing that would be really great right now? And I was like, please subscribe. Just would be awesome if I could get him to say anything really quick, you know? Yeah. <laughs> For content, right? For content. Just pure content. Otherwise, I don't know. Um, pull my Dumbledore beard? That would be funny. I <laughs> wonder what sound would happen. <laughs> okay, anyways, moving on. Um, the Emperor is now a level 8. You have my gratitude. <gasps> oh, where is he? Where is he? Okay, there he is. Perfect. You see? It's perfect, right? Please subscribe. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's great. If you could make him say anything, what would you make him say? So that's everybody back in my kingdom. So I should have a video tomorrow welcoming Thomas O'Malley and finishing off the dialogue for the event. So I'll actually be done and have the video up before the event is done. I haven't had that opportunity, honestly, in several events. Just 
you know, the timing of getting the last character I'm right down to the wire, doing the last quest, whatever. This is awesome. I'm so, so happy about this. Um, again, absolute fluke luck. They haven't fixed anything for the drops. They really haven't. I have just got lucky. So um, good luck to everybody. Hopefully you're doing well on Thomas O'Malley. If you guys uh, have any questions for me, please throw them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you guys out with any tips and tricks that I have that I didn't mention in this video. And um, yeah, of course, I would love to hear everybody's progress um, on how you're doing with the event. If you guys purchased him, let me know if you already have him and finish the dialogue. Uh, but yeah, good luck to everybody finishing the event. And I will see everybody for my next video tomorrow for Disney Magic Kingdoms game. Bye.